गुड मॉर्निंग गुड मॉर्निंग नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू सी अबाउट टू पोर्ट नेटवर्क्स सो फर्स्ट वी कैन सी व्हाट इज अ पोर्ट पोर्ट when you hear the word port you can remember port is nothing but a harbor you know ships enter the harbor or they exit the harbor similarly in any circuit we can give an input to the circuit or we can take an output from the circuit so the region through which you are going to give the input to the circuit you name it as an input port and the region through which you are going to collect the output you are naming it as an output port so come coming to the types of ports it can be a single port network or it can be a two port network or it can be a multi port network so first we can see what is a single port network single port network so let me draw a network so here i am going to give an input to this and i am going to collect an output so i am naming this port as 1 and i am naming this port as 1 dash so i am going to supply a current i to this port it is going inside the port and it is exiting out of the port as i so you can visualize like this you can have a resistor in the port r so this is my 1 this is my 1 dash so i'm going to give the current i the current passes through the resistor and the current comes out of the resistor so you can have any component here you can have a capacitor r and inductor they are some examples of single port network now we can see what is a two port network so let me draw another box and i am now going to name this as a two port network so like what we have seen in the single port network i have a port 1 1 dash and i am having another port 2 2 dash so through this port i am going to give a current i1 and i will be receiving the current i1 through this similarly through the second port i am going to give a current i2 and i am going to receive the current i2 through this now the potential difference between these two points 1 and 1 dash i am going to name it as v1 similarly the potential difference between these two points 2 and 2 dash i am going to name it as v2 so if you see this two port network you can find four parameters two currents i1 and i2 then two voltages v1 and v2 so out of this four parameters you can keep any two parameters as dependent parameters and you can keep any other two parameters as independent parameters and we can analyze a two port network so for analysis of a two port network we have four methods methods of analysis so we have four methods of analyzing a two port network the first one is z parameters second one y parameters 
third one h parameters and the last one a b c d parameters so we know z is nothing but impedance so we will analyze the impedance parameter of a network y y means admittance the which is the inverse of impedance so we will uh, analyze the admittance parameters of a two port network then h h means hybrid we will analyze the hybrid parameters of this two port network similarly we will also analyze the abcd parameters of the two port network so all these parameters are low frequency parameters low frequency parameters so all these parameters applies only to low frequencies if you want to analyze a two port network having high frequency then you need to know the s parameters so s parameters this is applicable for high frequency networks okay so just we will recap what we have seen now so port a port can be input port or it can be output port types of port single port two port multiple port so first we can see what is a single port so single port will have a single box you have a port 1 1 dash so you will be giving a current to this it will be processed and it will be sent out you can take the example of a resistor so here we will be giving a current i it passes through the resistor and it will come out similarly a two port network so this box represents a two port two port network and one one dash is one port and two two dash is another port so through one i am going to give a current i1 and i am going to receive a current i1 as the output similarly i am going to provide a current i2 through the um, uh, port number 2 and i am going to collect i2 at 2 dash so the potential difference between these two 1 and 1 dash is named as v1 and the potential difference between 2 and 2 dash is named as v2 so we have four parameters i1 i2 and v1 v2 so out of these four two can be dependent or two can be independent so based on this we can derive these parameters z y h and a b c d also the important thing you want to remember is all these parameters are used for analyzing a low frequency network so if you are going for analysis of a high frequency network then we should have another parameter which is called s parameter or scattering matrix parameter so in the next class we will see about the z parameters y parameters h parameters and abcd parameters one by one thank you